Hi guys, this is Aishu Joshi and again I am here with you on Achieve IS. So today we are going to discuss a brand new topic. आज अभी मैं आपको बता दूँ we are going to uh, take all those topic that are that are important for our exam point of view. No matter what type of preparation are you uh, doing, I mean you are going through some SSCs or UPSC state services, no matter it is, because here we are going to discuss all those type, uh, topics that are in current right now. So uh, current affairs is important for all the uh, upcoming exams. So for that, I, sh I think you should go for all these uh, topics or videos that we are discussing here. Okay. So, uh, our today's topic is Cradle Baby Scheme. Recently, it was in news. Why it was in news and uh, what it is and uh, how we can understand all these topics and I will let you know about all these things. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's start today's topic. So, you can see here it is a baby scheme related to a child. Okay, so what it is? This is the special. It is all about the specialization of uh, this scheme. What it is to eradicate female infanticides and to save the girl children from the clutches of death. Cradle baby scheme was first introduced in Salem district during 1992. Okay, so here it is clear that it is a scheme for girl children and to save them from the clutches of death and. Uh, it was first introduced in Salim district that is during 1992. In the year 2001, the scheme was extended to the district of Madurai, Thani, Dindigul and Dharmapuri where the practice of female infanticides was in existence. This unique scheme has so far saved 5 1011 and from which males are 959 and females are 4052 children from the clutches of the death okay so it is a very big data that by a scheme they could be saved i mean uh, this scheme or government of our india saved 5011 lives by the scheme okay so it was all about the specialization of the scheme let's have a look uh, one two more points that is this 2011 census projected an alarming disease in this child sex ratio in the district of kudalur Arialur, perambular Vilapuram, and thiru vannamalai for which various socio-economic reasons are contributed Okay, taking recog uh, taking cognizance of this and to set right this negative trend, cradle baby scheme was extended to these district also. So it was started with a single uh, district that is Salim, but after that in 2001 it was extended through Madurai, Thani, Dindigul and Dharmapuri and after practicing in all these areas we gone through it gone through 2011 that is in Kudalur, Arialur, Perambulur, Vilupuram and Thiruvannamalai all these states were also in need of these type of uh, schemes so government also implemented the uh, cradle baby scheme in these areas okay taking cognizing of these and or to and to set right these negative trend cradle baby scheme was extended to these districts also so here these two points are these two slides are important for you that where it was initiated okay where it was introduced when it was introduced and after that in 2001 where, where uh, what are the places where it was exist or uh, it was uh, implemented and uh, how many peoples or how many lives have been saved by this scheme and uh, 2000, in 2011 what are the district that were included in the, under this scheme and uh, why we gone through we had gone through all these uh, states okay or districts sorry so this was all about this scheme now let's go through the impact of this scheme what is the impact of this scheme as on 929 
male babies and female babies have been rescued 929 male babies and female babies have been rescued it means total 4954 lives of babies have been has been ex, um, rescued till date okay the child sex ratio of tamil nadu which was 942 females per males during 2001 it has been increased to 946 females per males in the year of 2011 in just 10 years it was um, you grown up by the four females on every thousand boys or males okay so it is a very big impact of this scheme so we can say this scheme is such a very unique scheme that is very helpful in the equality of um, you know child ratio okay so what are the objectives of it a path breaking initiative and first of this kind of whole country introduced during 1992 it was addressed the issue of sex collection at birth uplifting the status of girl children by ensuring their education and to encourage small family norms so by this scheme the first objective is to uh, we can say uphold the up or uplift the status of girl child specially okay and to equalate the uh, sex ratio of boys and girls and accordingly to educate and to encourage the small family norms also though uh, this scheme was totally re uh, restructured in the year of 2009 it in this year in order to give more financial assistance to the girl children mode of deposits under the schemes were like this there were two schemes under the scheme one a sum of 22200 and that is now enhanced to 50000 for children born or on or after 1 8 shall be deposited in the name of girl child with power finance for the family with only one girl child okay this was the under the scheme one now what was under what is under the scheme two a sum of 15200 now enhanced to 25000 where the second ch girl child should have been born on or after 1 8 shall be deposited in the name of each girl child with power finance for a family with two girl children only okay so these are the two schemes under this particular scheme that is cradle baby scheme okay so what are the eligibility criteria for this a family having one child or two girl child without a male child alone is eligible enrolled under this scheme for both the schemes there shall not be any living male child in the family and the parent should not adopt a male child in future the parent should be less than 35 years of age on the date of his or her sterilization the age limit of has been enhanced from 35 to 40 years during the uh, during on either of the parent should have undergone sterilize sterilize within 35 year of age the parents grandparents should be a domicile of tamil nadu for a period of 10 years at the time of submitting uh, submitting applications annual income of the family should be below 50000 for the first scheme and uh, for the second scheme it should be 24000 only the honorable chief guest chief minister of tamil nadu has announced that in the chief minister's child girl protection scheme the annual income for scheme 1 rupees 50000 and scheme 2 is 24000 has been removed and it has been enhanced to uh, the data is missing here okay so i will give you the data in um, comment section so what are the scheme what are the total amount of scheme and i had uh, basically i had uh, given the blanks here it is for you also that you have to go through this that uh, what is the amount at present for both these schemes okay and i will also acknowledge you in the comment section okay so this was all about the eligibility criteria of it so let's have a look how it works children rescued under the cradle baby scheme have been rehabilitation rehabilitated with an alternate family under adoption 
programs. The innovation cradle baby scheme has won assolidates in India as well as from other countries also. Okay, on uh, positive effect of the cradle baby scheme in Tamil Nadu, the sex child sex ratio which was 942 or out of 1000 in 2001 has risen to 943 out of 1000 in nine, uh, 2011. Since this scheme mainly focuses on education of girl children, the rate of girl children literacy which was 64.55% in 2001 and now has attained exponentially, ex uh, sorry, expon uh, exponentially growth of 73.44% in 2011. Okay, so uh, under this scheme, we can say we achieved a lot. I mean, we uh, it is a good initiative or I can say a unique initiative to encourage the up or to uplift the uh, sector of girls children and to promote the girl children also. Okay, so it was all about the works, eligibility, objectives, impact and specialization of the scheme. And we had gone through all these things. You can uh, stop the video. You can uh, note down the these points, and especially notice that you have to go through this uh, amount also. Okay, here it is removed. You have to go through this. That what is the eligibility criteria? I mean, what will be the annual income according to scheme one and two, which is recently, which was recently uh, revised. Okay. So you have to go through this and I will also uh, write it in um, comment section but before that you have to uh, give me the answer of it okay. So it was all about the cradle baby scheme and it was the um, initiative of Tamil Nadu government and you should learn about it because UPSC or any other government exams you can see this question also because it is important according to scheme point of view government schemes okay or government initiatives so you can go you should go through this and uh, hope you liked it if you liked it then please uh, click the like or subscribe or share button and uh, you will definitely get more and more videos with, from my side as soon as possible and definitely uh, according to me as I am trying to do the best uh, we will cover definitely all approximately 70 to 80 topics that are important for your exam point of view till 31st May we are going to cover all these topics and after this uh, we will definitely go through all the current affairs topics continuously but still I can say it, till 31st May be with us because you are getting so many discussions so many points for your exams and i don't want you to give any type of regret i mean i don't want you to do any type of regrets like um kar liya hota yaar ek bar video dekh liya hota to shayad ye point clear ho jata ye scheme clear ho jati hai ye topic clear ho jata so for that you have to go or you have to be with me uh, by each and every topic also best of luck for your exams I'll be here soon as soon as possible. Bye-bye.